everyone, I am James and this is my Spitfire. You've probably just watched the drive I've been on. That went really well. The car's pulling really well. All the noises I had when I first got it uh, seemed to me mostly gone. And uh, yeah, really pleased all the little tweaks I've done over the past months have made a huge difference to the car. However, near the end of the drive, because these things never go perfectly, we have a little problem to look at. So. Let's investigate. Okay, first of all, let's show you what's happening. Right. Move the car, hopefully you'll hear this. So we go and... Okay, so that sound's coming from this left rear wheel. I'm pretty sure it's the wheel bearing because when I injected up earlier and spun the wheel I couldn't get the sound again so I think it's happening with weight on the main outer bearing in the hub so let's go ahead and see if we can get that fixed okay so to help with my wheel bearing problem I've been and done a little bit of shopping first of all I got a wheel bearing kit uh, this one I got locally but I think this is the same kit you get from Rumor Brothers in the UK so we have a main bearing, a needle bearing for the inner side of the hub, a bearing seal, a um, seal that goes on the inside after the needle bearing, we have a ga new gasket, um, a nut, and a couple of split pins which I don't actually think are needed but they do seem to always come in these kits for some unknown reason and some grease so that's quite a comprehensive kit and I can't locally get a hold of the correct tools to separate the bearing however I have been got this um, sort of generic bearing separator kit uh, we'll see how useful or not it is I may also have to end up fabricating some tools myself. Okay, so the first thing to do is get this wheel off. With the wheel off, the next job is to take this nut off, or at least get it loose. I'm going to clean up the thread a bit first, I think. Right, that's the brake fully disassembled. Now we'll see about pulling this out of um, flange off. Okay, I've now mounted the bearing puller um, on the hub flange. I've put it back to front because I want to put an even pressure across this plate to try and pull it off without feeling anything. Got it just touching the actual um, surface behind the plate clamping down on the back of it so 
go to get my impact driver and um, see what happens. And just like that, it's off. Now I just have to disassemble everything. Given the horror stories I've heard about getting these off, I'm very pleased this outer flange came off so easily. I'm just hoping the other side will be the same. Now I'm just removing the nut that I left on so it shouldn't all fly off from my face. And now I can pull the outer flange entirely off. Okay, that's it for today's video. Thanks for joining me. In the next video I'll be looking at pulling that axle out so I can actually attack the bearing itself inside the main hub assembly. So if you want to join me for that hit that subscribe button and if you enjoyed this video hit the like button so YouTube knows it's a good video as they say and we get the algorithm on our side. So until next time see you later.